Hi everyone. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you put up two maps. Um, I wanted to physically show you the relationship between where they want to frack, which is on the left, and where the uh, aquifers, the most sensitive areas of contamination are on the right. As you can see, a lot of these areas overlap. Now, I don't know about you, but this makes me very, very concerned and uncomfortable. And I'm really tired of people saying that solar is more damaging to the environment and wind is dangerous to birds and bats while we're inhaling particulates, mercury, sulfur dioxide, uh, these things are causing acid rain, but solar and wind is more dangerous. It, it just, it angers me. I am almost to the point of violence. So please pay attention and look what's going on here. And as you see in North Dakota, where there's a boon and oil and tar sands and whatnot. Look at look at what's going on here. This is you, the future of your drinking water, future. And I tell you, once an aquifer is contaminated with petroleum, and it ain't coming back. It it just isn't. So. Wherever you live, do what's necessary to protect this. And that Keystone Pipeline is going directly through this area. Now, the Keystone Pipeline is going directly through this area. The largest aquifer in the United States is going to have a pipeline placed directly above it. Now you know why people are protesting, and now you know why people are getting arrested on their own land by the oil corporations, which are run by the Koch brothers. These people are heavily invested in 